Great. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Matthew Johnson, and this is part of the All Together Now stewardship campaign and also a sort of very exciting announcement to let folks know about. Uh, if you read yesterday's Kairos, um, you saw the notice uh, that uh, we have hired uh, the Reverend Joyce Palmer to be our halftime assistant minister and take on the portfolios of caring and membership uh, and adult programs um, that Chris has been doing for the last few years and uh, to also be part of worship and part of our team here. So this is a chance to introduce Joyce to those of you who don't know her um, and talk about some of those program areas. So Joyce, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So I know a fair bit of your story, but why don't you tell other folks, um, you know, how you came to Unitarian Universalism and how you came mm -hmm. to ministry a little bit. Well, my first experience with Unitarian Universalism was at the Rockford UU Church. Um, Dave Weisbar was the minister at the time, and we came for an adult program, and I've been watching Fusion for quite a few months and decided to check out the church, and I, I loved what I saw and heard and became part of the community. And from there, uh, when I moved to Atlanta, I went to seminary yeah. and joined the ministry um, there. So it began in Rockford, and I've, I've gone on to do other things since then. Yeah, great. And I know you've served our congregations in D.C. and uh, suburban Milwaukee, um, doing a lot of the same kind of portfolio we're going to be talking about here in Rockford, um, pastoral care, small group ministry, um, yes. stuff like that. Yes. So Yes, I yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoy uh, welcoming newcomers and helping members get engaged in whatever um, they feel is their calling at the moment. So yeah, I love working with um, congregations. Yeah, great. So look, we're talking about some of the exciting things that are gonna happen next year uh, because of people's generosity to the church. And um, one of those that I'm really excited about uh, working with you on is kind of our small group ministry and our adult programs. You know, people have been meeting online and our groups have been really a lifeline for folks over the last year, but. Um, I'm excited to expand that program and get new folks in small groups and really give that program some juice as we are able to come back together in person. Um, so what, what are your thoughts about small groups? And well, I, I love small groups. I know it's the way to connect in a large community. When we join small groups, we get to know people and they get to know us and it deepens our experience in church. So I'm looking forward to helping connect more people, start more groups, and, you know, just find out where the energy is and help um, grow it. Yeah. Me too. Me too. And I, I think I'm, um, we've been doing good caring. We have this great caring team. And these folks in the church who just, they take care of each other. They go visit folks. Now, this year have been phone calls, and notes, mm -hmm. lovely people. And one of the things um, you'll do is give them support and help them, train them, um, offer some coaching, and also do some pastoral visits yourself. Mm -hmm. and, Yes. And that's something you've done a lot in your yeah your pastoral care ministry is is so vital um to let people know that they're cared for and thought about um, i have some experience in chaplaincy i did a year residency and hospital visits or something that i am comfortable with doing and i know people so appreciate it okay. when we're able to do that again yeah and I, one thing i'm excited about is you know i visit folks in the hospital and nursing homes and mm -hmm. that there'll be two of us able to go make these visits and you know, mm -hmm. if I'm gone out of town on vacation, you can make the visit. Yeah. I mean, the caring team does a great job, but sometimes folks want the ministry to come. And so yeah, and cool. extra support is always great. Yeah, yeah, it'll be great. Um, and then I'm really hopeful that as we come back in person and people come back from the pandemic, the craving for community is really going to draw folks to come visit. And we're going to have lots of new visitors in the fall. Um, and so you're going to be welcoming people and working with yes. the membership team. Uh, and I know you're excited about that part. Yeah, I, I love that. Um, people come to us for all kinds of reasons, and it's just great to be a welcoming presence and to be part of their journey. So, yeah, I look forward to answering their questions, making them feel welcome, and having a group of people do that together. I think that would be great. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I think it's going to be great. And I, I'm hopeful and excited to see, uh, you know, some of the people who've been watching online for the last year. Uh, we actually come in person and get to really mm -hmm. meet them, which will be wonderful. Yeah. Um, That'd be great. And then, of course, we're going to be doing worship together. So you'll preach a few times a year, but what I'm excited about is doing the liturgy together and sharing the parts of the service and um, and being part of that as well. Yes. 
Yeah. Worship is vital and I love being a part of it. Um, creating the space for people to come and be together, um, I think is really important. So I'm looking forward to that too. Yeah, me too. It, I, you know, I've done this, uh, yeah, this will be my, we started my 19th year in ministry, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. preaching, you know, 40 Sundays a year. And when I've got somebody to work with, whether that's a student intern or even better as a experienced minister, the worship is just better, you know. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Tim and I have got this great team, you know, back and forth now after all these years of working together. And um, and I know that we'll be able to really add to that so much to have a regular team of professionals um, helping lead worship and engaging lay people yes. in it. So, yes, yeah. me too. Yeah. yeah. So Joy starts uh, 1st of August uh, is when this position begins. Um, so uh, please remember, she's not actually working until then, um, but... Uh, we are now raising money uh, to pay for this and all the rest of the staff and all the rest of the things we do in the church. So thank you all for your generosity. Um, and uh, I can't wait uh, for you to start working with us. Thanks. Thank you. Looking yeah. forward to it.